Hey guys, this is Crypto Coin Investor. Today we are going to take a look at Omisago. So this is the Omisago BTC pair, and we saw a huge pump. You see this huge pump. This happened due to the fact that the Omisago team, which is now called the OMG Network team, they rolled out the mainnet, and USDT is using their mainnet for transferring all sort of stuff. So the Omisago network is now fully functional, and it is a great second layer solution to the Ethereum. This is why it is pumping. And if you see the monthly chart, you will know what I'm talking about. I mean. The only Sega holders had given all hope by the end of 2019 and it went into uh, you see this thing it went all the way down it it touched all-time lows it, I mean it was it was a crazy run however things are now changing because they have rolled out of uh, rolled out their mainnet which is a working product so let's take a look at the weekly chart real quick close this is what we want to focus on so this is the weekly chart and this you see this white line this is the support line and this is some people call it the meme line this is a 20-day moving average and if you're under this moving average you can see that uh, it, it has always acted as a resistance oopsie you can see that in the past it has always acted as a resistance but once uh, back in June when we were able to close above it it started acting as support and you can see that we pumped we accumulated, we came down, tested the moving average again, and then we went up. See this? Then you go up. Now, if you are into Omisego, what should you do? Should you buy or should you wait? Well, if I was in Omisego or if I want to buy Omisego, I would wait. Because you see these three lines? I drew these lines two months back and I saw and I told you guys if the Omisego wants to pump, these are my targets. And Omisego actually went above those targets and stayed above these two targets for around two months two two weeks uh, and now we are finally below our first uh, target and now it is going to act as a resistance and I think that we are going to test the levels down below before we make a move to the upside um, so I really if I really want to buy Omisego I would buy it here around somewhere around 0 0.0029 before it makes another pump to the upside so nothing goes up in a straight line their corrections are a part of the game so this is what i would be doing if i was in omisego i would short omisego and then uh, wait for it to touch the 0.002 levels or something 0.003053075 before going to the upside however I would not recommend shorting it if you bought it using US dollars. So I recommend shorting it if you bought using your Bitcoin. Yeah, I do not recommend shorting it if you bought it. Why I do not recommend shorting it? Because um, when the Bitcoin goes up, the coins, the all coins, also go up in terms in terms of US dollar. It does not mean that they would they would be gaining in terms of stats, in terms of Bitcoin ratio. They may, they may still be going down. A classic example of this is Stellar Lumens. It is going up in USD, but it is going down in Sats. So com compared to Bitcoin, um, it, you may not see similar gains. That is why it is better to stay in Bitcoin. However, if you bought it with the, your USD, I recommend do not recommend shorting it, even though there will be harsh corrections here and there. I do not recommend shorting it. That said, I would say we have a really good support at somewhere around this level you can see that in the past we have touched this level a lot of times which is at 3.76 dollars so 3.76 dollars is a good area of support so keep that in mind so if the but it is only going to uh, it is only going to test those levels only and only if the bitcoin goes down in value and right now bitcoin is looking super bullish and if trump comes into power it will be even more bullish because the stock markets are going to do record highs and you do not want to stay behind shorting it because then we will be looking like fools so do not recommend shorting the omisego if you bought using us dollars so what are my long-term targets for omisego well if you zoom out on the uh, usd chart we have touched 20 dollars in the past this is why it is very important to zoom out so uh, my final price would be somewhere around the 10 dollar mark And after that, it won't take much time to reach the $20 mark as well. However, we are still at $5 and we were hovering at around under a dollar for a lot of time. You see that here? 
we were under a dollar for a lot of time so keep that in mind uh, we have made a hell of a move when we are in bull market we are above this white line uh, if you zoom in you can see that this red line here this is the moving average of Ichimoku and we got rejected on the monthly time frame so this is how strong are the monthly resistance and support levels it is also very positive to note that we are above this white line that you see here on the monthly uh, on the monthly time frame as well this is very bullish for omisago and this only shows that we are going to go up we're going to see massive upward trend in omisago in the coming months in terms of bitcoin so if you want to multiply your bitcoins and if you're investing using bitcoin it is good to stay in omisago there will be harsh corrections here and there but long term you'll be doing just fine there will be some there will be few months where it will be just going down but overall trend of the omisago if you bought around here you won't face much problem if you bought early no problem at all so uh, i'm overall very bullish on omisago um we are also making uh, bullish divergence on the monthly time frame you can see that we have made a little green bar here on the MACD so this is good news for Omisago holders so hope you found this video useful and that's all about it give, give, give a like to this video to show support and stay subscribe for more cryptocurrency ICO news and trial analysis